It's your boy Zappa, two-time cosplay champ. Look at all these dang boxes. This is the important box though. I'm also here with the Queen of Space. I'm hiding in my space fortress of mobile suits. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere back here. I'm back here. Yes. So we're on a mission today. We're on a mission to help a friend. Well, a new friend. A new friend as of today. Because All the space lines are my friend. What if he's not a space knight? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I came across... Oh, no, I'm, I need to sit down, don't I? I came across a post in Gunpla Garage Sales, a Facebook group where you can buy, sell, trade various robots. And someone said, hey, people, I need runners. I'm trying to build a three-foot-tall Axia out of runners. And I've seen some of these statues before. There's a guy that built, I think it was at least like a five foot tall, you know, OG Gundam. And you see before, he's got runners upon runners all over the floor, like in stacks organized. It's, it's insane. So he needs a boatload of runners. I just so happen to uh, keep, have been keeping quite a few runners for an arts and crafts project that I didn't do anything with. And Queen of Space, you just keep your runners out of habit. I am a scavenger, and I always worry that I might find some kind of use for it. I had always kind of wanted to make a chandelier out of runners, but like, I'll probably never get to it. And this guy's ready to go, so he can have them. I love it when things can be useful again. So I'm all about it. I have kept all my runners in all my boxes, so I'm going to dig through them so I can give him all my runners. And I've got a few like boxes too. That's a burger. Avalanche. No, regular Exia, not Avalanche Exia. This <laughs> is the... This is the GX is. Yes, it is. Just make sure you're not throwing away any shields or something. No, I'm checking out he's got his shields. Actually, I built his other gun and sword. I don't know where to do that. He has decals. I'm sure it's probably somewhere. I'm terrible. I actually keep the decals and I use them on my fingernails. The extra de decals. I've taken them into my manicure shop and been like, will you put these on my nails, please? <laughs> and they like look at me funny, but they totally do it. Uh, especially the water slides, they work really great on nails. I wonder how dry rubs, dry rubs would work on nails. If someone, it'd be pretty hard to do it on yourself, but I'm pretty good at dry rubs. Um, you could totally do it. I don't see why not. Oh no, I'm keeping that one. Um, as long as you, you just gotta put a good clear coat over it. Yeah. Uh, and with nails, you're putting a, a thick clear coat on anyways. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why it works. It really doesn't matter what kind of stickers they are. Um, oh, the box is so big. It is huge because it had big parts. It had big parts and it cannot last. It does have big parts. <laughs> oh, this has got a bunch because I didn't even... Oh, I did build it. The yeah. giant... Booster pod? I forgot yeah. about that thing. It won't fit on my shelf, so... No, it won't. Oh, okay, look. Because this was like the first gunpla I built when I started building gunpla again. <laughs> I actually was using wire cutters as a pair of nippers, and I left them in the box. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to sort out... Make it an organized mess. You know what? I have a second box. I'm going to go get the second box. Cool. <laughs> oh. Look, my least favorite thing in the whole world, a solid bean saber. And it's like that funny dark blue too, like what is that? <sighs> Old bean sabers? Uh, Before, you want to hear about a debacle with uh, with bean saber parts. The new double O model doesn't come with bean saber parts, but it comes with bean saber handles. What? <laughs> it's silly. It's like preposterously cheap though, so they kind of cut an accidental cost assuming Oh, I'm sure everyone's got like already a half a dozen, two dozen, ten dozen, you know, effect parts. To I be, do. To be fair. Yeah. We do. But they should have put them in there anyway. So, more importantly, is uh, what we're going to do is... Actual nippers. In the description, in our hanger bay below, I've been trying to call it the hanger bay, where one hangs out. In, nice. in the hangar bay below, in the comment section, we will put a link to this gentleman's fan page. Do you want this connection part to a uh, bear guy? Yes, I do. Okay. And then you've got backpack connector parts too. Yeah, I cut those off too. Okay. He just wants the runners anyways. I don't know what I might need these pieces for, but... Yeah. Like, look, there's a whole extra set of, like, light armor. <laughs> oh, yeah, because 
you know, mass produce goes in. So, because I always cut myself off, and that's my own fault. Uh, we will put a link to his, uh, his, his own personal Facebook fan page. Not his personal page, because that's... That's incredibly rude. <laughs> uh, but we will put a link to his page in the description below. Also, uh, we will have him post on uh, on our uh, Dunpla group on Pla on Plipla. We'll have him post there. That way, you, the people, will be able to get in contact with him and be able to participate in this grand old building of a three-foot-tall axiom made from your runners, made from your junk that you didn't think you would ever need again. Let your junk be art. I'm bad. I only ever build one set of hands. Like, when I build my kits, I know which accessories I want to build, and I don't necessarily build them all. So I pretty much only build the ones I want to display. So, like, a lot of these have, like, <laughs> hands I didn't even use. Yeah, it's especially bad nowadays with build fighters. They like half the runners are new and half the runners are from the original kit. So it's like, uh. I feel like eventually I'm gonna have enough extra pieces to build a whole robot. It'll be like a crazy, it'll be like an exquisite corpse robot. <laughs> you offset. Oh, did I? You offset every manual by box. <laughs> like, Tierra's had Tierra's, but it also had Alleluia's, and I moved Alleluia's over to his, and it turns out Walk On is in Alleluia's. That's because, uh, you know, I like my double O boys in each other's beds, what can I say? Hey. Hey. Catra wants to come over and hang out. Hey, guys. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. No. <laughs> Stick with your own series, sir. This isn't Robot Wars. Oh! Uh. She came! Okay, so it was... But to be fair, uh, and I've talked about this before, so Graham was in Lock-On's box. <laughs> You're blocking the keyboard. Ah! Not on purpose, I'm sorry. Uh. In, in some of the other dubs, they changed the area to a woman anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember me. Uh, specifically, I know for sure, in the, uh, the Spanish dub, Tiaria was changed to a woman. Um, so wearing the dress. I, I'm, mm, I just know that that's what it was. My friend was watching it in Spanish. I was like, I love Tiaria. She's so cool. I'm like, wait, what? But she had been watching the Spanish dub. Mm. She had found it. She's like, yeah, he's finished up. Great. Pink runners. I hope you use these. More pink runners. I figure the off the odd color runners. <laughs> can I can I ask you a question? <laughs> the <laughs> the odd color runners would probably be used as like internal yeah. construction. And then you get your layers. You gotta bulk it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would assume. But hey, enough pink runners and maybe he can make a Trans Am. It's time for a lover's embrace. Graham never said these things. Never. I'm sure he's obsessed with sex. There's the silver one. But like, come on, Graham and Setsuna? No. 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 That, that's, that's like, not I a ship a lot of, I was like, I ship a lot of things in that series. Like, no shade if, like, you do. Oh! I threw the wrong piece in! <laughs> oh, you built your Trans Am one, that's right. Yeah, I built them all except for the... The one with the the bear guy, the, the bear the, guy the family. One, yeah, the one I'm gonna make one big family. That's it, because I'm gonna paint them all together. Are you gonna buy a pop deck? I don't know. Maybe I'll get another mama bear guy, and there'll be a there'll be a lesbian family. Don't tell my bear guys how to live. I won't. <laughs> Except they have to live on a shelf. <laughs> yeah, they do have to live on a shelf. That's true.
our uh, age model kits. <laughs> Remember age? And whatever, whatever this is. <laughs> Uh, that. Oh, this is just a different model line. Uh, I, keep, I keep whatever little ads they come with when they ship or I buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's fun. It's, um, it's, it's a sign of the times. Did you do these already? I did all them. All them boys. And all these boys? All them boys. Precarious Tower. Okay, so this one's probably got a bunch left in it. Oh yeah, I believe that. What's yours? Sure, you want to keep these effect parts? No, certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I don't. I don't cut them all out, but that doesn't mean I won't want them later, just because they don't have their. I just I haven't had a really permanent place to keep my robots until recently, mm -hmm. and even then, it's a little. Questionable. Yeah, I'm still not 100% happy with it. So I left a lot of the little delicate bits off where I was building mm -hmm. just to keep them from getting lost. It's why I don't, I haven't cut out any of the funnels. And like I really want to set them up with their funnels and whatnot, but I haven't really yeah. had a permanent place for my robots. Yeah, the fault has like five funnels and I think. Oh, yeah. Hello, gun. And I really want to set those up. That's one of my favorite like things about that robot. Um, I'm just, I'm still working on it. I need one more shelf for sure. The old bad quad. Yeah, the old one. Yeah, any leftover pieces for that I definitely want to keep since she's yeah, uh, yeah. she's about to get a rework. I'm hoping she's gonna be a test bed. <laughs> oh yeah, these are the one the one piece not not the anime the one piece of beam sabers. Ooh, you know the ones that you have to paint a color. Yeah. Ooh. Huh. You could also tell this is one of my early builds because uh, oh. I was just using a straight razor because I didn't have an exacto knife. <laughs> I forgot to put the manual back. <clears throat> Ooh, those aren't god hands. Though. Oh, those god hands cut like you know, a hot knife to butter. It was preposterous. Yeah, that's out. I like the thicker handles. I don't necessarily like the pull feel. I feel like you have to squeeze a little harder. Oh, there's funnels on here. Yeah, keep that. Don't cut those funnels off. Just keep everything. Uh, well, I was going to cut the tree all around it? Or oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just don't want a bunch of individual funnels oh, no, 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 no. rolling around in there because, yeah, there's a reason I don't cut them out. Yeah. Good old. Well, I just want to be in proper location to it. <laughs> so, so, well, that was fun, but that all you know, all this this fun aside. Once again, uh, we will put as much contact and fun information for you in the hangar bay below to help get in contact with this gentleman and. Send your anti runners to this man and help him build an uh, Anexia. Uh, we'll link to his Facebook fan page where he says he will post work in progress videos. And he's already got some really neat be builds up there as well. But as always, Shig Zion. Sig Zion.